All right, folks, I'm going to try a second time around. Looks like it crashed within uh, a, a minute or so or less, and I want to try to make sure that doesn't happen again. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll try. A lot of people on the internet these days. So I'll be back in just a second. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying number two. Let's see what happens. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll see if we can't uh, get some of this back on again. I apologize for those that did jump on just a moment ago, but maybe this will just be enough of a, who knows, maybe it's on purpose to get some more folks back in. All right, so today is Friday, uh, April the 3rd, and uh, we are in for a whole brand new month in front of us. And there's no doubt we are living in perilous times. There are much, there are many difficulties that are, are uh, surmounting. Uh, numbers are quite staggering. However, there is great, great opportunity uh, for things to come uh, now. And uh, some of those things are from you. That's what we want to talk about today. All right. So uh, I'm going to pull up a couple of things here in just a moment, kind of in anticipation of what I want to share with you today. Uh, today on, on Phenomenal Friday, I want to talk about uh, something near and dear to my heart. Uh, if you watched the other day, maybe yesterday, I think it was, I did a, a Beatles tune and and uh, shared a little bit of my heart, got a bit emotional, uh, because it's an emotional time. I'm emotional. I mean a lot about uh, about what I do. Well, I mean everything that I do. And I want to make it uh, an imp as impactful as possible for you, uh, because at the end of the day, my, my opportunity on this planet is to help empower you. And there's a lot of things I've been through in my life, and I'm hoping that some of those things might spur interest in yours, and help you to uh, engage with some areas in your life that um, maybe you haven't been engaging with. And there's ways to do that. Sometimes it's not easy. And we have a lot of questions. I say we, meaning I've, I've been looking at, reading, listening, watching, uh, fielding, getting all kinds of, of responses from people that uh, have been quite interesting over the past couple of months. Enough for me to understand some of the heartbeat. Not all of it, I'm not all knowing, but there is definitely a, a heartbeat out there of people's interests. Some of it is we just don't know what to do. Um, some do, and they are doing. Um, I'm hoping that I'm one of those doers for you. Um, however, there's those that want to do, but may not have all the tools in the toolbox to make some of that happen. And it can be embarrassing to ask. It can be um, awkward. And sometimes, you know, it's hard to just put your, uh, your finger on it. One of the things when I first started uh, really engaging into content creation, even especially here on LinkedIn, and um, I moved in my career field from a, a full-time pastor, uh, you know, I've been a singer-songwriter, business entrepreneur, I mean, I've been all kinds of stuff. Y'all can check that on my profile. But when I, when I really wanted to launch into to where I'm at now um, and find a voice, you know, I feel like I, I've known my voice for years, but I was challenged in that. And it took me Believe it or not, it took me several months to come down with a couple of sentences that I felt really uh, nailed who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing um, on this planet. All right, so uh, a lot of that has to do with identity, has to do with uh, you know passion, uh, education, information. There's a lot of things that are factors in our lives, right, that can help make those differences. So I want to kind of offer some opportunities for you that... Um, Maybe you may not have had easily accessible or you don't want to pay for the $99 a month course or the $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, $50,000 courses or, or whatever that may be right now. That's fine um, because there's a lot of stuff available for you out there for free. But without connecting the dots, without getting somebody to help you with it, uh, it makes things difficult. Um, so I want to highlight a few people today. Um, we're going to get to a slide presentation here in a moment. won't be super long, but uh, enough I hope that would be helpful for you. I'm going to highlight three people in today's live that um, that I think are really doing things to help uh, make a difference in people's lives. Uh, Bill Dolan, it will be Jay Andrews, and Jackie Hermes. You'll find these three individuals, two, two guys and a gal today. No uh, specific reason why, just those first three that popped into my mind today. And uh, we'll jump into that uh, here in a moment. So I'm hoping you'll you'll see what that's all about here in a minute too. All right, so I've got a I guess I've got a couple different views here today. I've got 
um, a view there. I've got a view right over here. This is kind of where I'm at with my, my straight on shot for my computer. And I've got a couple of things I've been working on here behind the scenes that I hope will be helpful and keep things moving for us here uh, as we're uh, working together for a little bit. Uh, I am coming to you live today from Fayetteville, North Carolina. I live uh, on the southern side of the United States of America, southeast. And uh, if you go down the very bottom, of course, there's Florida. And then you've got Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. And in North Carolina, I am uh, just happy to live here. It's a beautiful, beautiful state. Uh, where I live happens to be uh, the largest military base in the world called Fort Bragg. And uh, I am also a veteran, a wartime veteran and uh, retired military. I uh, served during the Gulf War um, a long time ago, back in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, I also served in the Berlin Brigade. I was a member of the uh, Berlin Brigade uh, forces. And uh, we had an occupied force back at the time when the Cold War was uh, occurring. And uh, President Reagan gave that famous speech, Tear Down This Wall. Some of you might remember that. And uh, I feel very honored to have been a part of that history. And I'll share some more of that with you another time, but uh, a little bit about me today. Also, you'll find that um, if you look around my profile a little bit, just to, for those of you that might not know me today, that I just saw that I went live, I'm an author. I am a speaker, a coach, a consultant, and a LinkedIn content creator. I also have been working, obviously, on other social media platforms for years. Um, but I have found a home here at LinkedIn that um, has just been amazing. I love our community here at LinkedIn. There are so many amazing, amazing people, such incredible information, uh, such incredible, awesome ways to uh, advance our futures. And right now at a time like we are facing, uh, it couldn't be more useful for many of us to be able to uh, figure out what that looks like. For your, for your life, for your future, all right? So uh, coming back into Phenomenal Friday, I got one more little video I made for you this morning, a little intro, here it is. Yeah, like literally, I believe in you. That's what I'm here to tell you today. You may not believe in yourself, or you might believe in yourself, but there's just this frustration that frustration that you feel as if you you're almost there. You just can't you can't get over the hump. And now all this is going on, and we're secluded, uh, limited reach to people physically. Um, the world uh, marketplace has has changed a bit here lately. And there is a lot that you have been pondering. Uh, for those that are job seekers, um, those that are in the midst of trying to find a new career, and you're kind of wondering, you know, how am I going to do this right now when I'm facing uh, unknown times? Well, this is the best time. I mean, you know, perhaps you're you're not going out knocking on doors and and handing out a resume in in person, and now you have an opportunity to do that online, which also means you should definitely be taking advantage of the time that you have at home because uh, that's where many of us are. And there are so, so many resources for you. And over the next few days, I'm going to uh, provide uh, as many resources as I possibly can to help you uh, to further you because I believe in you. I believe you can do this. And I, here's the deal. I need this world to be better. I want this world to be better. And it can only be better if you are empowered to do you. That's what I'm hoping for here today, just to get the conversation going, just to kind of move some things along. All right, so I'm going to flip to my slides that I provided for us today. And of course, like I said, today's Phenomenal Friday. I, I've been doing a show called Phenomenal Friday for a long time. I've backed off in the past couple of months, just with everything that's been occurring, everything's been going on, it's kind of been different, but here I am today, nevertheless, Phenomenal Friday. And it's phenomenal because I believe in you and I'm knowing, I know, I know, I know that you can do this. All right, so this, what is this? I believe in you part, right? All right, so here's the first thing to, to remember during times like this, stay connected. Sounds like an oxymoron. Sounds like the opposite when they're saying secluded, get away. But, but here's the thing. Stay connected. It's so, so important for us to ensure that in moments like this, it's easy to withdraw. It's easy to 
uh, become complacent. It's easy to, to put it in neutral when you need to drop it in low gear and, and get ready to fly. This is the best time to do it. So stay connected. What does stay connected mean? All right, so staying connected, for me, I think there's a few things um, you've got to really focus on when it comes to connection. Um, what are some things that you would like to dig into right now? You know, things that you haven't had time for in the past, um, but what, like, for example, what group can you join or what group can you be a part of just to to help or just to be a part of something that you could just feel like, I want to do something that I've not done before. Now, I'm not talking about trying to go do something in a group because you're trying to necessarily sell something or promote yourself. At the end of the day, that's part of what we're all trying to accomplish. However, there's ways to go about it. Yeah, so don't go in there just trying to be super salesperson and I can save the world because you have to buy what I have. I mean, let's be real. Not everybody wants to hear that on the front side. You ever gone to a store? You walk in the door and the first thing you see is 15 salespeople say, hello, how are you? My name is Fred, John, Sally, Fred. How can I help you today? I just came to look around. All right, give it a breath a little bit. You know, get to some of these groups. Uh, start Googling some things, keywords that you can find that may be, uh, you know, some places that you find are, are interesting to you things that you've been thinking about or, or that are part of your passion, part of what you're excited about. Do some shopping. You don't have to join them all right away. Just check out, see what some of those things are and, and see if you can't get plugged in. Now, plugging in means join the group. They're going to have rules, obviously abide by them. Um, they're going to have people there that are making comments, uh, posting uh, different things of, of whatever, you know, I mean, um, you know, chime in on it. Well, listen to what they have to say. Um, give your opinion, your thought process on what some of those some of those responses might be in these groups. Now, don't go out there and join a million. That's not going to do you or anybody else any good because you're going to be overwhelmed and it's just going to be too much and you're going to end up doing nothing. Uh, find a couple, maybe let's say three. Find three groups that you're not a part of right now and three groups that you have wanted to be a part of or three groups you'd like to be a part of and and start. Right, so start also in the sense of uh, ensure you protect yourself by creating some of your own personal boundaries. You know, how long do you want to spend in those places? Do you want to go to a group, let's say, you know, you go from 8 to 11 a.m. and you are in these three groups from 8 to 11, you're corresponding, you're posting, you're liking, you're, you're communicating, you're doing whatever, and then 11 o'clock, you move on to the next thing. You know, don't just hang around there all day, kind of like Netflix. Netflix binging and group binging. Uh, there's a time to cut it off, right? So stay focused, right? So there's there's other things we'll talk about later when it comes down to your disciplines in how you can move forward with some of these things in your life, especially if you are jobless right now or careerless or somebody who's ready to move to another position in your life. For me, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, I've owned several brick and mortar businesses. I've had retail operations and uh, I don't have my retail operation right now. I closed it when, uh, when cancer hit and I had a brain tumor. Um, uh, but I couldn't imagine trying to run my business right now um, with the way things are. Uh, nobody would be buying anything. I owned a music store. I owned a retail store, sold guitars, drums, you know, did lessons, things of that nature. Nobody would be coming. What would I do? I'd have, you know, I've, my rent was $10,000 a month, not to mention salaries and, and uh, you know, pay and taxes. And, oh, my Lord, yeah, that's a, a lot. So there's some of you folks out there, I completely understand what you're thinking and facing. And um, for some of you that may be watching that are in that role, maybe you do own a brick and mortar, you have a retail operation, you have employees counting on you, and things just aren't, uh, aren't happening the way they used to, and you don't have the money to pay the bills, or you don't know where it's coming from, I have some suggestions. If you'd like to hit me up later, um, just DM me, and we can talk about that. There's also in the United States some great um, support that has just been launched. President Trump signed into law recently some uh, some ways to help small businesses and uh, employees to stay afloat during this period of time that is basically free money. Um, that's a long story short. So there are opportunities. We can talk about that later. All right, back to my slides. All right, so find some places where you can get plugged into uh, that you haven't been plugged into before and get some more information in your life that you haven't had. Uh, not to mention, there's so many things that are about you that are incredible that people would be so uh, happy to hear if you just showed up. You know, it's really important just to show up. 
All right, so another thing I'd like to share with you, uh, my little delay, it should pop up here in a second, is that it's so important for us to stay connected and to be in groups, but then to seek guidance, to seek a mentor, to seek people in your life that are persons of peace, people that could help you uh, in times of need. I don't know if this slide's gonna pop up or not. I hope it does. Um, so I just basically have a slide pops up, says seek guidance, seek a mentor. All right, so I'll pop back here for a second. So it's so important to know that there are people out there that can help you. It's just a matter of, of doing some shopping. And my goodness, if there are not millions of people to look through. Okay, it's over, over 600 million people on LinkedIn. Obviously, not everyone is a mentor. Obviously, everyone is not a coach or a leader. There are people there that are just looking for jobs or there's IT people that want to do work or, or whatever, right? We, we know how it all rolls. But there are a, a lot of folks on this platform, specifically on LinkedIn, that are here to help. My slide popped up finally. All right, so it's so important to find who those people might be. And you can do it simply by, what I love about LinkedIn, one of the things I love is that you can go to the search bar and type in some keywords, type in life coach. Like for me, I'm a, I'm a certified empowerment life coach. So I mean, uh, I have keywords like life coach, certified, empowerment, um, uh, life, uh, my words, overcoming obstacles, goals, achievement. Uh, those types of words are, are all relative to the meta tags and keywords that I use to describe myself. So when somebody searches, they would find, find me. Um, so you would be able to do that as well. So find the, the type of person for you. Maybe you own a, a carpet cleaning business and you want to find uh, people in the industry that are uh, in carpet care. Uh, and how they're handling their business during times like this. I mean, I think people would probably want a clean house right now. And uh, you're concerned about the virus, you're concerned about so being maybe there's some great opportunities for you that you hadn't thought were available and just have to find different ways to, to get to it. All right, next slide. So mentorship does exist. All right, so here's three people I would love, love, love to highlight today. I'll come right back to the slide in a section, in a second. All right, so these are people that, that I am uh, either following or that I know personally or I'm in communication with and uh, that I could personally recommend to you as someone who is a, uh, a qualified, knowledgeable, educated, been there, kind of a mentor, kind of leader person. All right, so that was really polished, wasn't it? So these are great folks, and there are so, so many. I mean, I, I'll share more as time progresses, but I just want to share three with you today. And uh, why would I do that when I'm, a, when I'm one of those people too, right? That's the point of this. I believe in you, right? So it's not about me. It's about you. So one of the things I hope that you learn from this, what I'm doing, is that although I would love to be the person somebody would choose, that I can't do it all. Far from it. But there's so many people out there that can, so many people that are valuable, so many people way, way better than I'll ever be. And uh, just a few folks here that I'm hoping that you'll get a chance to check out if you haven't already checked their profiles out. Um, one of them, the first guy I'll talk to you about a little bit, here's Bill, Bill Dolan, he's on the left, and he has a great program uh, called the 7DRM. It's a transform, uh, transforming your company, your culture, and you. And uh, Bill uh, is a, uh, uh, extremely planted man in video and uh, in the world of, uh, of television, production, things of that nature. You'll find out when you go to his profile. He's been doing it for a long, long time and he's uh, really good at what he does. Uh, one of the things that's really incredible about Bill and where he and I have uh, a few parallels in our lives is that in 1999, Bill died. He did, he died. And a horrible scenario happened, and what that horrible moment was turned out to be life-changing. It's definitely something that you'll find could be a benefit for you as well. So uh, I want to encourage you to check out uh, check out Bill's profile, Bill Dolan. Try to come back here to you. Sorry about that. I try to put my phone on airplane mode, but even though it does, um, these calls still come in and try to interrupt my live thing. I figure a way around that here, Switcher Studio. Y'all help me figure that out. All right, so Bill Dolan, great guy. Uh, and what I love about him as well is that he and I have become really good friends. Uh, he is also a fellow follower of Christ. He and I share our, our passions for, for Jesus together. 
and uh, we are getting ready to launch a show together here on LinkedIn. We're going to do a LinkedIn live show that I believe would be very beneficial to you called Great Intentions. All right, so I have been really challenged myself in a keyword that I use all the time, goals, because uh, I believe in goals. I believe it's important to have them. Um, but I've been challenged that I feel like goals, because I, I equate like uh, a goal is like a, a dream, right? As a goal that never happens, or a dream is something you just think of and that you don't put any feet to it, right? But but even if you have goals, if you don't have proper intentions before a goal even arrives to your life, forget it. It's not it's not going to happen. Intentions are important. So the name of the show is going to be called Great Intentions. We'll talk about that later. But Bill, great guy. Go check him out. You'll find him here at LinkedIn. And in the post here on my live, you'll find a link to his profile that I have provided for you as well. All right, second guy up is Jay Andrews. And Jay is an, another incredible fellow that I'd love to talk about here today. And, you know, for a lot of us, we're so busy with what we do in our work and our uh, as content creators I stay quite busy. A lot of you that do content creation can understand what that means. I spend four to six hours a day just doing uh, video preparation and, and putting my video out. All right. So, I mean, there's just a lot of work that goes into things. But anyway, one of the things I love about Jay is his, uh, his morning hellos to everybody. And he's always by his fireplace right there at his, uh, his little area he has every morning, sometimes in different locations. But um, he will spend time just, um, you know, having a cup of coffee with you and sharing some great information and always, always promoting other people. He's so good at it. And uh, on Fridays, I think he does it every Friday, right, Jay? Um, he, he has some heroes that he promotes here on LinkedIn, uh, the Fab Four. And uh, it's so fantastic when he does that. It gives you an opportunity to meet some people. And in the midst of all this connection craze here on LinkedIn, uh, it gives you a chance to meet people um, that uh, have a specific reason for meeting them. And he defines who they are and a little bit about what they do. So instead of just clicking connect to connect, you get a chance to connect with somebody who is is uh, someone who may be very influential in your life. Could be a great connection. All right, last one is Jackie. All right, so Jackie, she is a great a great leader. She is a powerful woman who is an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, easy for me to say, and focuses on so many ways to help bring transformation in your life as well. Um, she's really great. And... I remember not too long ago, she uh, did had a video, her staff had a video where they kind of, uh, they were kind of teasing around a little bit with some of her, her mannerisms and things that she does. She's a beautiful gal, no doubt, and she's got some long flowing hair and women, um, I say women, I mean, I've got long hair too, it was quite different. Um, you know, it's a it's an important part of life. And she combs her hair and does certain things. And they were kind of teasing her about the way she does her hair sometimes or some of the things that she says or does. And it was fun. It was really cool, right? So it's just a chance for people to realize that although she's, yeah, she's she's an entrepreneur, she's a leader, she's, she's powerful in her industry, she's also uh, human. And she has faults and she has little things that are, you know, not what you would think you would see on the screen all the time, right? She's also wrestles with with being um, negative versus positive. Her, her go-to is more negative than positive. And that is a big statement to make for folks that are always trying to be positive all the time because it's not easy to be positive all the time. I could totally re relate with her about that. And I think you can too, all right? So three people here, three different types of people, but all with similar passions. And that's all about you in everything that they do. So all three of them are people that I would highly recommend for you to check out today if you haven't already. Again, their information will be in the links uh, that I provided for you here um, in this um, post. You'll find it up above. Hopefully, this whole thing will, will make it to record and post because I think it stopped online, but I continued recording and hopefully it will catch up for you on the live broadcast. All right, so one of the other things I'd like to talk to you about uh, in this slide coming up, one of the last slides, is to identify challenges. All right, so there's plenty of challenges that we all face out there. There's no doubt that we're all facing many challenges in our lives, our homes, our businesses, our families, right? So here's the thing, identify the challenges, but solve them. So that means you'd have to actually identify them, like write them down. What are some of the top challenges that you're facing in your life right now? All right. So 
if it's like, I don't have a job. Okay, so that's a big challenge. Let's let's take a, a macro thing, a huge thing, and micros, bring in a little more. Okay, a lot of people have jobs. So why? Why don't you have a job? Um, what's in the way of you not having a job? What are the challenges for you not having a job? Um, there's nowhere to go right now. Not true. Um, there's no jobs out there. Definitely not true, right? So I mean, think a little bit bigger here. It's the big picture, but find what those challenges are in your life. I just use jobs as an example. Obviously, you're here on LinkedIn, and uh, it could be um, maybe you struggle with negativity as well, and it's easy for you to default to negative versus positive. And the challenge is you're identifying challenges. I'm too stinking negative, and I have to change. That's called mindset. And there are people here on on this platform that are very good with mindset. I think one person right away comes to my mind is Ash Playstead. He's a friend of mine here on LinkedIn. I should have posted his up there too. I will give you his information later, but Ash Playstead is a, a hero and champion when it comes to mindset. It is his passion. It is really where he thrives. And you know, there's chances for you to find things there that can make a difference for you. So identify those challenges and solve them. Not everything has to go unsolved in life. They can be solved, and there's ways to do that, right? There's always, always, always another side to the coin. There's always two sides, right, to every coin. All right, so that's just a little bit of the slides I want to provide for you there today. Uh, we've got almost at 30 minutes. I was shooting for 30 minutes today, tops for my uh, my my LinkedIn live for you today here on Phenomenal Friday, April 3rd edition. And we just came back into a place where I've been talking to you about ways to dig into the most important aspect of your life. Your life. Because <laughs> I believe in you. I believe that you can do incredible things. Now, incredible for one person to another person, they could be different incredibles. But incredible is incredible. I mean, if you helped me um, carrying a bunch of groceries to my car because I was about to drop some eggs and you grabbed the bag just before it hit the ground, I'm, I'm extremely grateful to you. You helped me in such a great way. You saved me time, money, poor chickens that laid all those eggs and see all those little eggs go to death without it going to my belly first. <laughs> I mean, come on, right? So I mean, there's, there's ways we can do things in life that it doesn't have to be a Superman. It doesn't have to be a Superwoman moment. It doesn't have to be like, we averted nuclear disaster today because John Johnson pressed this thing so that, that, all right, you don't have to do all that stuff. It could just be a very simple thing, but it becomes way more incredible to somebody else than you think it does to you because you have great skills and talents and abilities inside of you already that are so, so important that if you tap into those things, it will make a huge difference. All right, so kind of recap, I'm gonna look here at my uh, uh, switch screens here. I'm gonna recap and look at my slides again. One, I believe in you there. There's, uh, there's nobody better than you that can do this. Stay connected in moments like this where it's so easy to be tempted to withdraw, to be complacent, to kind of wonder, you know, Am I just spinning wheels? No, no, no. Stay connected. Get plugged in. Find a group. Uh, there's social groups on LinkedIn, Facebook, other places you can be a part of where you can find information that will, one, benefit you, and two, that you can actually help to benefit others in. So find at least three. I would say no more than three right now. Start with three where you can really dig into those areas and see where you can make a difference in somebody's life and, and then theirs so is yours as well. Be disciplined with that time. Don't spend forever on it. Like, you know, find a time slot that works good for you. Stick to the start and ending time so that you can be focused on what's best for you in your life. Other thing would be seek guidance, seek mentors. There's no low rangers here. Nobody can do this by themselves. We all need each other. And there's so many incredible people out there that can help you, uh, even if it just came down to a word or a sentence or a paragraph or a moment in time that helped just click it for you, it could really make a massive difference in your life. So the only way you can really get into that is by seeking somebody out. Find somebody. I told you, you can do uh, keyword searches. You can look for life coaches. You can look for um, mindset. You can, whatever. I mean, you can look for... Um, website development. You can look for nonprofit organizations. I mean, there's whatever your interest is, your niche, your desire, hit it up and start looking through and finding people that resonate with you. And you'll see in their headlines what they say. Some folks are really good at doing that. Some folks, not so much. And the ones that pop out to you, 
you know, keep a list, find which ones you want to start following, and then engage with them, all right? Uh, and then I also showed that uh, mentorship does exist. I'm going to pull this back up one more time. Let me go back to uh, play from current slide. Here we go. So mentorship does exist out there. I highlighted three, actually four. I didn't put Ash's picture up here. I just thought about him while I was talking, but three people I want to talk about today, Bill Dolan, Jay Andrews, and Jackie Hermes, she is a great gal. So those three people are people that I've got, given you links to that you could uh, you could click on their uh, profile here at LinkedIn and get everything else you need right there from where they're at, all right? I'm sure they'd be happy to reach out to you right now, positive. And then of course, you know, I, I talked about Ash Playstead, who's a great mindset champion guy, friend that I know of that I think would be fantastic when it comes down to change some, changing some things about mindset. And he posts things um, daily that are nuggets that could help you uh, with some of those changes that you need to make in your life. Because, you know, the only way to go from one way to another is to make a change. Two sides of every coin is what I said before, right? All right, so stay engaged, stay connected, get into groups, um, you know, understand that there, there is some great value, there's phenomenal value in you. And the only way that's gonna come out is by you doing something about it. Uh, don't get complacent, spinning your wheels. Let's focus on working things together and see what we can do to make a difference. So this is a whole new month, April's in front of us. And if you stay focused on the news and all the bad stuff, where there'll be plenty of that every day, it's really simple to, to find that we can become secluded. But if you uh, stay informed and stay focused on what you're here to do, then you can take all of it together and make a big, big difference. That's what I'm hoping to do for you today as well. All right, so today's been Phenomenal Friday, my little live show I wanted to do for you today, and uh, also kind of let you know a couple of other shows I've got coming up uh, in the near future. Uh, my friend Bill Dolan we talked about, he and I have a show coming up called uh, Great Intentions. And then uh, PJ, I'll tell you more about PJ in a while as well, he's in Australia. And he is, uh, well, he's really working with mindset now as well. And he's got a lot of uh, great information. He's come a long way in the past six or eight months or so, haven't you, PJ? And things have just gone fantastic for him. So I'm going to talk more about him next week and a show that he and I are getting ready to, to, to work on together. Uh, it'll be a LinkedIn Live and uh, something I hope that will be a benefit to you as well. All right, so there's a few things I've offered for you today. Hopefully it makes a difference and uh, hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration uh, to be able to move forward in, I think, one of the best things that are out there. You, some really cool stuff and you're a part of it. So thanks so much again for being here today. I'll uh, cut this off and hopefully you'll be able to get the whole broadcast here when I repost here in a moment. And um, yeah, I'm gonna check this out in a second. We'll sign off here in just a moment. And uh, thank you so much for being here today, y'all. It's been fun. I hope you've had a good time. God bless you. If anything I do to help you out, at the end of the day, of course, that's what I'm here to do. I, uh, well, one last thing, you know, obviously here, here I am to be a person that wants to help you overcome life obstacles. That's what I've tried to work on today. Help overcome life obstacles so, so that you can achieve your number one goal and experience a life of abundance as you can. And I believe in you. Talk to you. What's happening, everybody? Matt Crump, be right with you.